Hello everybody, uh, my name is N3Vapor, but you can call me Vapor. And today I'm gonna talk to you about how to allow your chat to control your lighting. Now I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Link is in the description below. And also join our community Discord where we can help you out with your channel. The software we're talking about today is called Lumia Stream. It is a free software that also has a premium option to unlock additional features. Today, we're gonna stick just within the free program. And maybe in the future, if you guys enjoy this video, we'll dive deeper into it and go into the premium. So first to start, we're gonna go to the website and get this program downloaded. I've got a link in the description below. You're gonna go to lumiastream.com. So to start us off, we're gonna just go over and to a browser, you can go to lumiastream.com, you can Google search it, or you can click on the link below. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna choose, uh, choose get it now. Now this is where it's gonna go through all the different things that are also included with the premium version. Uh, and there are some really cool options within this. Uh, things like Twitch chat point integration, profile switching, hype alerts. Uh, so you can do some really cool things with it. I just haven't had a chance to experiment with it. So that's not gonna be something I'm gonna show you today. We're gonna go with just the free version. And for this, you're gonna go ahead and sign in with your Twitch account. Uh, most, uh, if you've signed in on your computer recently, it's gonna just be linked right there. And you're gonna click the download from your platform of choosing. That download will take just a second. And once it's done, we're gonna run that executable file. Okay, through the magic of time-lapse and uh, YouTube, we have downloaded the file and we're now installing it. Uh, you can go ahead and just choose wherever you want yours to be installed. I'm gonna install mine on my C drive and program files. Once it's done, just uh, choose finish to run the program. And we're gonna dive in and get started from there. A uh, new version has been downloaded. Restart Lumia Stream to apply the upgrade. So uh, most likely when you do it, you're gonna have to restart the program once you launch it the first time. No big deal, it takes just a second to run it. The biggest thing that I've gained from using Lumia Stream is an additional level of chat interaction. There's something about when your viewers come in and they click follow or subscribe and your lights changing and just them feeling like they made that change. It's so unique. Uh, there's not a lot of streams out there that are taking that level of integration to it. So this gives you something to separate yourself from all the other people in that directory. The lights I'm using throughout the room are both Philips Hue and Nano Leaf. So the Philips Hue, I have two play bars on the back wall. I also have light strips behind my desk and there's light strips behind my TV. Now, uh, the ones at my desk and my TV, you can't see from this shot, but I do have a behind the scenes camera right there uh, that's gonna hit that. So whenever I'm using that, that rear camera, people will see my desk and the TV light up as well. Okay, so we've downloaded the program and now it's time for us just to get signed in. So this is what it's gonna look like by, uh, from your login screen. Choose sign in with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever your streaming platform of choice is. And allow it, allow it onto your firewall. Little, little patch note options. So you can take a look at that. So from here, this is what your landing page is gonna look like if you just have the application up and running so that it's live in your chat. Uh, but we we haven't programmed it yet. Well, I have, but we're gonna have to do it again here to, to show you how it works. So we're gonna go into settings. And right here is where we're gonna start having our options. I like to go ahead and jump straight over to this left-hand side where it says connections. And in here, we're gonna go through and connect our different products. So you'll notice uh, I've got Q, I've got NanoLeaf, uh, I've got Twitch, I've got my Stream Deck enabled, and I also have Stream Elements. Those are the ones I have enabled, but you also have additional devices and connections you can use. So we can go into our service tab and you can see you have Streamlabs and Stream Elements. We can also go into Lights and you'll notice we have Hue, NanoLeaf, LifeX, TP-Link, Yeelight, Colorlight, and I've never worked with Tuya, but we've got that in there as well. So quite a few options on that end. Uh, you also have a handful of different devices that connect 
can connect in as well, including your razor, if you have any razor lighting, uh, your string deck and some other things of that nature as well. Uh, and lastly, uh, we can go into extended and you're gonna notice this is where Tippy Stream, Treat Stream, Extra Life, uh, and all these other platforms are going to be able to integrate. Something that I don't believe they had initially, but has been a huge quality of life increase that I have found is that you can now go into the device tab, select your specific device and turn on and off which lights you want to actually have work. Now, let me tell you a story about this. When I first set this up, whenever I linked it to my Hue, either this option wasn't here or I didn't find it. I'm not sure which one it was because it's been a couple years at this point. I've been using this software for a long time. Uh, well, I had all of my house's lighting get tied directly in. So when I get a follow alert or a sub or anything of that nature, my outdoor lights would start flashing on and off. Uh, the lights in my master bedroom would be going on and off. My wife got real mad at me about that. So I ended up having to stop using the program for a while just due to the fact that the lights in my whole house were going crazy. So just make sure that you go in and only turn on the lights that you want to be controlled. I will say uh, my experience with NanoLeaf has not been the absolute best. It does integrate, but I've had to update my IP a half a dozen times to try to get that. I think a lot of that's on my end. Uh, I, I run everything internally on a pretty specific lockdown network. And I don't think this quite has the permissions to get to that. So for a lot of people, I think NanoLeaf will work well. So within your general settings, you have a couple things that you can do, uh, such as showing it in your taskbar or starting Lumia Stream on boot. On my stream PC, which is where I actually run this program, I have it set to turn on on boot because the only time that computer is on is when I'm streaming. Now, if we go to the studio tab, this is where you're gonna have some different scenes. So you can set up a default scene where it sets the different lights uh, to how you want it to be. So if I were to click test right now, the lights in my room are gonna all change to what my default scene is. The importance of this is once we start setting specific rules, your lighting will go back to this by default if you so choose to. So say you have your chat change your colors to pink after a certain set amount of time, you can have it go right back to this color scheme. Now we'll also go in uh, to reactions. Uh, these are pretty, pretty unique. Uh, you're able to set up specific uh, functionality when something happens. So like this is the flashing reaction. So I'm gonna actually go full screen here for you. And you're gonna see this in the background here. So for example, this, uh, this red and blue is what I use for my raids and hosts. And you'll notice it went back to all blue afterwards because that's what I have my current default set to. We also have like a rainbow functionality. So the lights are just going to be changing to crazy amounts of color. And then uh, we have a transition. So it's just going to kind of like flicker through. It, it's it's kind of going on a wave around the room here. Now, the biggest part that I utilize is going to be within the chat commands and also uh, within the specific uh, alerts. So if I go in and I click colors, for example. This is where I've got specific rules and commands set up. So if somebody puts exclamation point blue in my chat, the lights are going to turn blue. If someone does gold, green, pink, purple, red, teal, yellow, any of those colors, the lights will automatically change to that within the room. Now, how I have it set up is once it happens, the lights stay that way. So it turns into almost a color fight where people are just trying to change the colors to what they want. And that's just a way that you can encourage your chat to stay active. If they have control of something going on in the room, they're going to be more likely to want to stay active and keep, keep chatting. So if we go down to alerts, this is where you can set up your follow alerts, your, uh, your sub alerts, your bits, anything of that nature. And, and you're going to do this by, uh, selecting a reaction that you've programmed in one of the other screens. Uh, if you go into configure, this is where you can actually go ahead and update what that reaction is and even go ahead and test it. 
So it's a very, very simple system as far as up updating that. Uh, as you can see, you can also tie in to, do uh, to donations by, uh, by going into the, uh, to that tab and choosing the donation option. Anything you do can be updated on the fly. So if I wanna go pink and teal for this now, now when I test it, it's pink and teal. Just like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is a quick just overview on how to get started with the software. If you have any specific questions or concerns or you're running into any problems on it, please uh, jump in the Discord and ask me any questions you might have. Uh, the link is in the description below. And as a reminder, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. I've got the link down there for you as well. And I hope to see you in a stream. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will be putting out additional content like this in the coming weeks. I look forward to seeing you around and have a great day. You see, where you went wrong is thinking I liked Dave. Actually, <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Let him suffer and die. <laughs>